Hey guys, what's up? Mai here, and today I'm going to be continuing my playthrough of Project Zomboid. Now, it does look like we have a survivor in our house somewhere. And yeah, look at that, he's actually come in and he's actually set up some sheets for us on the windows. Unfortunately for us, we are doing the Nomad Challenge, so the rules for this challenge are that we are not allowed to stay in the same house, uh, you know, for any longer than a night, and once we've stayed in that house, we can't come back for five days. So I'm just trying to talk to the survivor at the moment because apparently they've fixed up the AI a little bit for the um, actual survivors. So I'm actually going to test that out a little bit. We'll see how it's improved. So this guy, he he's going to team up with us. He says he wants to help take the take the town back. Sure, just follow me. Hopefully, he doesn't make too much noise. And uh, yeah, we have at, um, we have eaten food before we started. Um, when I did actually start the episode, there was a little recording glitch, so we did miss a tiny bit of playthrough, but just me picking up some food. Okay, so old mate Fred Evans, uh, he's not a people person. <laughs> All right, well, we don't need to stay here anyway. Um, you know, we don't want to make a bad impression on our newfound friend. Actually, it looks like we've found more survivors, even. And it looks like they're raiding what looks to be the corner store. Let's see if these guys want to team up. Awesome. So it looks like we've got another person on our team. But... He's not going to come with us, I don't think. So we'll get him to follow. But what's Henry doing? No. Okay, so I guess you can kind of tell by the, you know, the, the color of the font. Uh, if it's red, it usually means they don't like you. So we are also a little bit irritated. And it looks like they've got a new icon for that. Which you guys probably can't see because of the resolution. Oh, oh, holy crap, Kenneth. Kenneth Martinez, nice shot. So, he's on my team right as well. And was there anybody else? I could have sworn there was the third person. No, never mind. Okay, we're good. Are they... Okay, you know, I'm not going to spend too much time trying to get all of the survivors to follow me. I'm, I'm happy just having one friend at the moment. I mean, I don't know about you guys, but it's always much more comfortable when you've got one other person with you, especially in really kind of crappy situations like this. And I mean, I know in the past, I have been pretty against teaming up with people. But, you know, now that I've got someone around, you know, I'm feeling a little more social. I'm feeling a little more safe, actually. So it's about 4 o'clock in the afternoon, um, you know, we're definitely not going to sleep in this place here, it does not have a door. So I mean, I guess, for us at the moment, what we're going to have to do is find the next place for us to stay. Because we want to start looking kind of early. And what the hell happened to him? Okay, we seem to have lost our friend. Um, wait, okay, so, there's somebody out, how the hell did you get over there, Kenneth? I'm just going to order him again to follow me. And can we, can we actually have conversations? No, so there's no dialogue at the moment for the NPCs either, that's cool. Okay, so the AI is still a little bit slow, still a little bit unresponsive, but it's definitely better. I mean, I've actually been able to team up with them and have them follow me around and actually help me kill things. And looks like we found our other survivor here. But, oh, come on! What is this? 
So I've got one survivor who says he'll follow me, but then doesn't. And then I have another one who just... It it, it looked like he knocked himself out with the door. I'm, I'm not 100% sure. I... Uh, either way... You know what? Let's, let's just keep it simple. We're going to go through this house here. And... <laughs> what is... I have actually split the couch in half as well that's 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 pretty funny okay so now we definitely don't want to sleep there and i think one thing i will do tomorrow is actually head over yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna head over to the warehouse the um the hardware store and i'm gonna get myself a hammer just so you know when we're in houses like these we can you know, board up the windows if we need to sleep on the second or on the first floor. But thankfully, this has a second floor, which is a little safer. And uh, you know, we're gonna have a safe place to sleep tonight. Okay, so we'll speed up time just a little bit so we don't wake up too early. Yeah, about 9:30. That's pretty good. So we have leveled up. Go straight into hauling. I'm definitely gonna want to get extra levels into combat. Uh, now more than ever, it seems like these. These stats, these perks are going to be more beneficial than ever. It's 7 a.m. Nice and early. We're good for the day. Eat some more crisps. Uh, I just want to check my water levels. Yep, okay, so we're, we're still pretty good. And I mean, just while I'm here, does not hurt to get m more water than you need early on, as we've learned in the past. But, you know, really, this is actually really odd at the moment. Day one, day two, the spawn rates were just insane. There were zombies everywhere. But, I mean, now it's not too bad. Okay, never mind. There they are. So we're just going to try to go the long way around here. Because this is going to be a nice shortcut through the middle of town. And I mean, we do have lots of cover from these trees. Uh, as long as the zombies don't see us. Yeah, the zombies... Most of them anyway. We seem to have avoided. But yeah, I've definitely got some attention now. So let's just head out. Okay, so yeah, we've already lost those zombies, thankfully. So, one guy here. And I did have a comment from somebody telling me if you click specifically on their head, it will be an instant, you know, it'll, it, it should kill them faster. But I don't seem to be having too much luck with that. Maybe it's because I'm letting them get too close so I don't have a proper swinging angle or swinging arc. Yeah, I'm just gonna <laughs> stop playing around with that now before I get myself scratched or bitten. And I'm actually liking the look of that house at the moment. Okay, so there's... Holy crap, there are a lot of zombies this side of town. Sometimes like this, I'm really glad we grabbed that... Uh, I can't actually remember if it was agility or if it was just athletic perk. But we can definitely run a lot further now, so it's very helpful for us. So we'll see if we can find a fire axe as well quickly. Because that would be very, very useful. Very, very useful indeed. But... It doesn't look like we're going to find it. Just eat that lollipop. You know what, I'm going to take some wooden planks. And I'm also going to take a saw. Uh, I don't think we'll use the saw all that much. But uh, that's really not what we're using it for at the moment anyway. So. Okay, actually that's the kind of got ourselves in a bit of a shitty situation at the moment. So I'm just going to let old mate in, but he actually lost interest. So we're going to be able to sneak out the back door, bypass all the zombies. They don't have a chance. I 
and I was kind of hoping this was going to lead up to that cabin, like there was going to be a break in the trees, but it doesn't look like that's the case. But it's only midday, so we've still got plenty of time left. Uh, we are a little low on energy, so we'll drink some soda. So what do we have over here? So that's the football field. So that should be near the... So that's near the business district that's, um you know, right next to the school. At least I think it's a school. More of a college. I've been there before in the past anyway. Oh, where did they come from? That is the last thing you want to see when you're taking a pleasant stroll through the wilderness. Oh, jeez. Yes, that's definitely not going to work. So what kind of sucks about that is I'm already, you know, sort of low on energy. I have ran quite a bit today. Especially considering I still haven't leveled that up at all. Maybe that's what's, uh, you know, waiting for me when I sleep tonight. But this way there's zombies, and up this way there's even more zombies. So this is going to be interesting. I'll walk up, I'll try to save my energy. I mean, I don't want to... Yeah, look at that, now we've got zombies everywhere. And I mean, yeah, we're definitely going to have to try cut around these guys a bit here. I could have tried running through there, but I don't want to get myself in a dead end, especially with that many zombies around. Oh, look at that. Okay, so all of the zombies seem to follow me down in there. Which is good news for us. Uh, you know, we've gotten pretty much everything that we needed out of that shop. Uh, the only other thing that would have been useful would have been a fire axe, but Unfortunately, did not seem to find one at all just then. And I'm actually thinking this house at the moment might be okay to stay in for the night. And I do have quite an excess in weight. So I am actually going to get rid of this saw. I'm going to put it on the floor just so it's, it's easy to see, especially when I'm running past the building. There are also zombies outside if we just get our hammer out. Some nails. We should be able to put that up, but unfortunately the zombies outside have already seen us, which sucks because they are actually going to start breaking down that window. Now, I don't think they're going to be able to get through because there is a counter on the other side, but... You know, really, it's just a better safe than sorry. So, I mean, those zombies there. Oh, son of a bitch. I ended up doing what I was trying to avoid. And what I was trying to do there was just hit the zombies. Try to get their attention a little bit. Because I th think they may have seen me. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Okay, so those guys definitely know I'm there at the moment. So what I'm going to do now is just deep breath. Oh, we know we don't need the ammo. Eat some crisps. And this is going to be a bit of a risk here, but, you know, this kind of comes with the challenge. We're going to open this window and we're going to make a run for it. Oh Jesus, that was that was bad. As soon as as soon as I opened the window, I could see the health, and I could see that it has been damaged. It had started being attacked. And you know what? Oddly enough, we I think are just going to end up doing a big loop around. See our friend over there. So I stayed in that house the other night. I stayed in that house the next night. So day four, I will stay in this house. And 
Where the hell is the bedroom? That's definitely not something I like to see. That's also definitely something I don't like to see. Uh, okay, we're going to get the hammer back. And we're just going to board up this window. Not that it matters. The zombies have uh, well and truly seen us. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Son of a... I, just, I can't believe how many there are. Everywhere. The start of the day, there was like none. I should have just stayed in the one building and not moved. And I uh, can't really see a thing. I did see a zombie outside just then. Why don't any of these places have bedrooms? Bedrooms with curtains and other other useful things. Okay, so I'm just I don't I don't have time. I'm not gonna even take any chances by staying on the bottom floor any longer than I need to. Just going straight upstairs because we need to sleep. Otherwise, you know, we're not gonna wake up until it's really late in the day. And you know, we definitely don't want to be out at night time, especially with the low visibility. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, if you did, be sure to leave a like, favorite, and subscribe, and I'll be back tomorrow with another episode.